Hello! Welcome to my video. So today I'm going to show you how you can install programs in Slack or using install pkg command. So uh, it's going to be quite basic, uh, but before you look at anything, uh, I just have to warn you about uh, you should know which architecture that you're using. So you can easily uh, know which architecture you're using by using the KDs settings tab and go to the about section and it will show you uh, if it's 64 bit or anything it will show in the kernel section mine's 64 bit so I can technically install 32 bit applications as well but 64 bits uh, applications would be a lot more uh, properly utilized in my hardware since uh, 32 bit applications are, I guess uh, could only go up to 4 uh, gigabytes of RAM or something like that so uh, my 6 gigs of RAM couldn't be utilized if I was been using 32 bit gigs and it's all together an older uh, architecture so it's not worth installing those but if you're using 32 bit version of Slackware uh, you can't use you can't use uh, 64 bit apps so keep that in mind so uh, we first have to download the programs so uh, unlike uh, not using normal package managers like in uh, Debian or any other I guess yeah you could use uh, Slackware's own package manager as well but this is a bit different you have to first download the package on your own and then this command only installs it so keep that in mind so we have to download it and uh, now you could compile the program on your own then install it but right now we're just gonna show you how you can use the command so I'm not gonna compile it I'm just gonna go and uh, get a pre-built package so you can uh, get a bunch of programs uh, in here the slackware alien just you write this uh, into your URL bar and you would just go in here uh, so uh, there's a bunch of programs in this website so it's quite easy to find what you need if it's not already installed in your Slackware installation so uh, before you do anything though and just hop on and install something please pay attention uh, when did they actually been last updated so for example this package that I don't it's supposed to be some type of plugin it's not this one and uh, this one uh, it's from 2011 for example or from 2019 so just try to get a newer package especially things that are just web demanding like it has to be connected to the internet and stuff like that uh, just use something that is newer so keep that in mind uh, so I'm just gonna install a VLC for uh, as an example so where is VLC? So for example, VLC has been updated in 2022, but in the top there is the skins of it that's been like aging at this one it's from 2009. So we're just gonna use uh, VLC itself. So just click on the link, and here just like I said, you just have to pay attention. If your system is 32 bit, you just have to use PKG. But if it's 64 bit, you can use either. But you should prefer 64 bit and then you should look at your version uh, I did also forgot to tell you it could be seen on the about section in the settings app and the KDs or you can just write in a terminal uh, the command you name or something like that and it will be just showing you the same information so it's oh, you can have to know and uh, now I'm just gonna select 15 because I'm using 15 you could possibly use uh, current today in 15 but I think it would be not the best idea since they're almost not the same but kind of similar version number so uh, it's the best the one that using in 15 so I'm just gonna use this one and uh, now here what you have to download is actually one thing uh, so you don't have to download all of them uh, the easiest method uh, I found and figured out is to just look at the largest file so you can see that, uh, you can just push it here and just sort it by size but I am already seeing it this is uh, 26 MB or just M for some reason uh, so this is the package and if you want to uh, totally know uh, which package that you're looking for just try to look with these endings so X TXZ 
file format so that's all you have to do so and click on download this I already did download this so why did I even click it that's, that's I just, and the internet is not the best uh, so I already did it so I'm just going to cancel this and put that down and go to your downloads directory or where you downloaded it so as you can see it's over here in my system now uh, we're just gonna do this afterwards with terminal but trust me it's gonna be really easy so I'll just open up a terminal really basic and now you have to be uh, giving yourself root permissions now you could use sudo possibly in this method but there's a one important detail if your system uh, your user is not in sudo's file it won't work uh, any sudo command won't work so let's test that if mine's in or not to show you so just gonna give sudo uh, install pkg now I'm not gonna uh, uh, write the whole command I'm just gonna show you if it's on sudo's it will show you it this if it's not so as you can see my uh, current user is not in sudo as well so I can't use this method now if you're the same as me what you gonna do well it's actually really easy what you need to do the only thing that you have to do is switch to the root user and you can do that by pushing these two buttons so writing that and write your root password and bam now you're a root user uh, now at this point uh, you don't have to write sudo because you're already a root but please don't uh, push anything else than this particular command because this place is a little bit more scary because you can do uh, break your system quite easily now uh, if you push the wrong command of course if you didn't do anything wrong there's no problem so you just have to say ls to list all the packages or you can just copy it in here I just want to list it all from here. So now you have to copy this name. Bam. And then, just like I write it before, I have to just write install pkg. And put a little bit of space there and paste the package. And that's all you have to do. All you do is now push enter. And <laughs> I don't even have to pause anything here because. It's just verifying the package, and it's gonna be almost like magic. It just gives you a little bit of detail. The program, I kind of prefer a little more detail, but <laughs> it's super quick, so you don't have to. That's it. The package is installed. So let's verify it if it works or not. So I'm just gonna open up launcher and no. Why do you know? It just appeared there, and voila! Uh, if you didn't know, real C doesn't came by default in Slackware, so now we have Slackware with VSC player. Uh, which version is it now? I guess it's not the uh, latest version, but do you really need the latest version of uh, VLC if you're just gonna play normal video files or something like that? But here we go! So that's the easiest method of doing this, as far as I see. And you can just save this uh, in somewhere else, like this package. And you can use it anywhere else afterwards. In maybe in Slackware 16, if it comes out, it might be still possible to run this package. So that's really cool. Uh, that you have a package that you can save it offline and use it forever, almost. <laughs> so yeah. Thanks for watching, and uh, I hope uh, you learned the method, and yeah, bye!